Welcome to the second episode of my mini-series on night sky navigation. The first episode dealt with moon and star navigation in the northern hemisphere. This episode focuses on the southern hemisphere. Night lapse photos for this video were taken with a GoPro Hero 4. Details of the camera settings are included in the narrative down below. Recently, I had an opportunity to visit my twin brother who lives in Victoria, Australia. Pictures of the night sky were taken at that time. I was surprised to discover that the night sky appeared much brighter in Australia than it does in America. At first, I thought this was due to less light pollution in the rural area where my brother lives. But that is only part of the story. The South Pole faces the galactic center of the Milky Way, uh, and this provides a view of billions of stars. The stars in the Milky Way are brilliant, and the dark holes between them are even more awesome. The big question is how to use stars in the Southern Hemisphere for navigation. There is no star landmark in the sky like the North Star. Instead, there is a group of stars called the Southern Cross or Crux. The Southern Cross is represented on many national flags, including Australia, Brazil, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, and Samoa. It has five stars arranged sort of like a box, and four of the stars are very bright, forming a cross. And then off to the side, there's a little star that some folks call a beauty spot, you know, like Marilyn Monroe. This picture was taken in my brother's front yard. You can find south by doing the following. Draw a line out of the bottom of the cross and extend it, then look uh, towards the bottom of the cross and off to the side, you will see two bright pointer stars. Connect a line between the pointer stars and shoot another line at right angles to the pointer stars. And the point where the two lines intersect is the south celestial pole. If you follow this line down to the horizon, you will find south. The stars rotate during the night, and so the intersection point stays constant. Let me show you a short time-lapse video that demonstrates the rotation of the stars. This video clip collapses several hours into a few seconds. The Southern Cross is recognizable despite its orientation. In real life, you won't see this rotation, so let's look at several pictures with the Southern Cross and the pointer stars in different positions. For each picture, identify the location of the Southern Cross, the pointer stars, and the South Celestial Pole. Look straight down to the horizon from the South Pole and you'll see the direction of South. Turn 180 degrees and you'll be facing North. With this information and a map, you will be able to navigate using the night sky. I'll show you each image for eight seconds before telling you the answer. Pause the video if you need more time. Pretty easy, and that's all there is to it. If the pointer stars are not visible, an alternative method is available. Take the distance from the top star of the cross to the bottom star on the cross, and apply that same distance 
four times outward from the bottom of the cross, and you will reach the south celestial pole. Again, directly look at that point in the sky, and you'll be looking south. I saw images of the Southern Cross everywhere I went in Australia, from tattoos to advertising logos to flags. Because of this popularity, I reckon that most folks in Australia know how to find the Southern Cross in the sky. The Southern Cross has extensive national and cultural significance. Indigenous people in the Southern Hemisphere tell stories about their brilliant night sky. For example, the dark patch between the Southern Cross and the Pointer Stars is identified as a layer of evil beings by some Aboriginal groups. Other Aboriginal groups see an emu in the sky, and that dark patch is the head of the emu. Emus are the largest native birds in Australia. Interestingly, uh, native people in South America link these dark patches with uh, birds and other animals in their part of the world. Astronomers call these dark patches in the sky absorption nebulae. These are expanses of cool gas and dust that absorb background light, making them appear dark. Absorption nebulae are sometimes described as stellar nurseries, hiding the birth of baby stars. Amazing and beautiful. Until next time, peace.